<laughs> what is up, YouTube land? We're back. We're gonna play Austin Tejas. He's kind of like the blues one, right? I wrote correctly. All right. No SP earned it from phrases is two times the normal amount. Okay, so this is another character where we're gonna like barely get six stars and everything. Yep. Yeah, like literally the only way you can get seven or eight stars is by getting literally free stars. And, like, and uh, double Johnny the star Apple. power is like way worse than uh, Echo's power. Although, yeah. When uh, he be when he becomes a warrior, he gets times four the star power. That's good. Which yeah, well that probably. I wonder. What you? Yeah, you're not gonna keep it the whole time through the song, but it's still it's all right. I mean, if you combine Echo and this guy together when they're warriors, you basically have star power the entire song. The yeah. To bear his true self on the stage. Tonight, Austin must prove himself. I've never heard of Red Rider. This reminded me of the, uh, you remember the intro cutscene of RE5 when, uh, um, this, like, Spencer, the, the head of Umbrella is Austin old Spencer? Man. Yeah. yeah. I do remember He's, like, that. looking out the window. <laughs> it's so stupid. And then Wesker, like, what, knocks him to his death or something? I think so, yeah. Ah, uh, Resident Evil 5 happened. Hey, I'm playing uh, that song by. Uh, oh yeah, this song's boring. This is this is you really got me ready. Da -da 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 -da. Right? Da -da -da. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god. What? <laughs> oh. Like this song's good. It's boring and crap though. <laughs> Oh! Ah, oh, Boomer Rock. I didn't. Oh, next eighty one. I would have guessed this was even like earlier. How do I have star power? I barely played it. Oh, right, double. Yeah. Right. This is like that song in GH Metallica. Um, Turn the page by Bob Seger, the one that does this the whole yeah. time. I think when I was practicing this, I didn't even finish the set because everything is just boring and wrong. Cool. Cool. Oh yeah, we have it. It's weird how, like, I don't know if this band's big or if this is the one I wonder. But it's just weird that I've never heard of a song from the, like, the early 80s that would be on Guitar Hero. Like, it's just kind of weird. I What I remember is that this is the most boring song, so it does get better. The solo, I'm still using it. Oh. The solo, the way it's played, kind of reminds me of like Ozzy and like Randy Rhodes and stuff. Like obviously not nearly as many notes, yeah. But the holes and the sustains, everything is so purposeful. It's like a good, it's a good like melody. It's a good song. It's just not very fun to play. Bass did not hold down yellow at all. The basis of the song is White Your Tear. I call her because I'm playing with her. Yeah, everyone's like an old man, and she's like a random 20 year old girl. She really likes Boomer Rock. <laughs> I, I missed one star power. I don't know why you got two extra compared to me. Wow, 
six stars. Yeah. We're, we're not going to get like seven stars on anything. Wow. Not like not even close. There's no possible way you can make up yeah. that. I wow. missed one star part, but that's not half wow, a star. Wow, wow. Worth. Yeah. Me being 100% waifu with cowboy hat. You club with... I don't even know what his general dress is. He's like... George Clinton from Parlademic, uh, or Parliament Funkadelic, uh, but in, in the Matrix. Bluesy? Yeah, in the Matrix. <laughs> All right, did I just see CCR? Yes. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> is this it ain't me? Is it this ain't, literally it ain't me? It ain't me starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Vietnam movie. It ain't me starts playing. It writes itself. I love that name so much because it's not even this, this name of song. <laughs> but it is also super true. Like, have a single song about war from, like, before the 1990s. It always has this. Yeah, I wonder how many, like, times this song has been used in a, in a movie. I wouldn't be surprised if it's, like, 20. I bet. I kind of forget. But I would bet it's even in something that's like sir satirical, like Full Metal Jacket or something like that. It's just like in it. <laughs> Kubrick was kind of a troll, so he probably put it in there. Oh yeah, DMCA. Holy crap, DMCA. I can feel the YouTube algorithm seething. SEEVING that we're playing a song from the 60s. How long does it take for a song to become public domain? 100 years, so. <laughs> Sorry, I should, I should have that. Was yeah, it's big news. Um, Mickey Mouse, or like Steamboat Willie specifically, is gonna be public domain. Uh, on January 1st of next year. Wow, Disney didn't, like, bend the law for the fifth time in a row. I don't think so. At least that's what I heard. Because I haven't, Disney like, has, specifically looked into it. Disney has changed the law and stuff like this. Like, literally, like, I wouldn't be surprised if it's, like, half a dozen times. Sorry! Use it! Use it! No! Matters. Sorry, YouTube land. I was having too much fun. And, uh... There's no way the song is. That, that's impossible. <laughs> bah, bah. Guarantee that song. That's, <laughs> that song fades out. Absolutely. No, it definitely ends on bomb. Bonk. I remember that ending on... Wee -wee 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 it was like a 99. I was like, please don't be 98%. 16 more stars, baby. She's oh! Yeah, this set sucks. <laughs> like, I have nothing against Tom Petty, but when I see, like, Tom Petty as a guitar hero song, I'm like, no! I sleep. This is just quintessential boomer core. Yeah, Tom Petty might be the most boomer core uh, musician of all time. Like, because, like, there's nothing bad about it. Yeah. But I'm like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's ask Dad what he thinks about Tom Petty. He'll be like, Tom Petty, let me tell you something. I knew him in high school. <laughs> what? Oh, I thought he just I thought he just swore a bunch, but there just wasn't vocals there.
Why can't they put some cool boomer stuff like the Edgar Winter group or something yeah, like that? Yeah, I was about to say, like... Why can't they have, like, Frankenstein or something like that? The people that are, like... Or Blue Oyster Cult or whatever. The people that are, like, not agreeing with us, like, they like this music, it's like... I kind of like it too, but I'd much rather have like cool classic rock and not Steven This Russell isn't. Work. This isn't like what songs you're listening to when you're like mowing your yard or like on the golf course. It's literally like one of 100 songs on a freaking Guitar Hero game. I would rather have one less song than have this song in the game. Oh, sorry. Okay, not that bad. Come on. At least this isn't like a six minute boomer song. Also, last part I said is something about a Steve Miller song. I'm pretty sure I meant uh, Tom Petty. Oh, okay. God. Use it. Six stars! Yeah, he's like. Definitely existed. I would literally rather play uh, that Paul McCartney and Wings song, <laughs> and I do not like that song. Was it Band on? Band on the yeah, Run! That song's way better than this. Yeah. I mean, Tom Kenny has some good. But yeah, I'd rather play. I'd rather play Steve Miller than that. Yo, what about? Uh, 197 notes. What about uh? What you call it? Uh, wait, how many notes did I have? 197. Oh my god. What about a uh, freeze all right now? Oh, this might be good. This one's all. all it's right kind of a weird now, Rolling Stones song. Baby, it's all. Or what about Boston? What the crap? Yeah. What the crap? Let me in! Let me in! Oh, sorry. I'm not gonna. Somehow, even... every member of this band is still effing alive. How? Okay, I like this. Yeah, I like this song. It is kind of a, a weird, uh, voice. Did they ever put any Beach Boy songs on any rhythm game? I do not know. I know their stuff isn't super akin for Guitar Hero. Yeah, it's like... It might be a rock band, but if it did, I definitely wouldn't buy it. What about for the three, uh, three part harmonies, huh? Oh boy. the second half of the song is like weird. I don't do the rhythm anymore, it's just like periodic solos. Uh, Keith Richards. Yeah, it's already started. And I'm pretty sure it's just like the rest of the song. Uh, way to make a song. That's like impossible to use star power. So, I miss, but we still have our streak. Like, I literally overstrung. Uh, maybe it's a band streak, like we both have to miss? I don't know. Well, I'm a 
first, can you tell us your first name? I don't. Seriously, one of my favorite, like, all-time memorable moments, like, ever. It's absolutely goaded. Even if I don't reference it, I always say I don't know all the time. Yeah. Constantly. And, I mean, there's so many... It, it can be taken on a surface level, great, but, like, even better, like, it's his boss for the past, like, 15 years, and... Uh, it's like the most powerful man in town. Well, Mr. Bezos, what's your first name? I don't know. <laughs> Hello, six stars. Like, the first half is cool, and then the second half is just a lot of, like, random stuff. Use it. Not like we can ever get seven stars ever in our entire lives. Yeah, even a dual C would not get seven It wouldn't even be close. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this, that song is, listen, I'm saying Guitar Hero song, it's unironically a better Guitar Hero song than Paint It Black in GH3. Paint It Black is not a great Guitar Hero song. It's a great song, but it is not a great Guitar Hero song, and that's definitely, like, more interesting. Or it could be, like, a GH2 with just one of the weirdest choices ever, Can't You Hear Me Knocking? I like that Which song. is also a really good song, but just second Guitar Hero game ever made, it's like, whew, can't you hear me knocking on it? They probably wanted... Oh, here we wait, go. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see what, what's, what, what's left. Okay. Ah, oh, that's, that's for every winner. Okay. Boring Aerosmith songs. All right, good. All right. I don't... Is that it? I don't remember what the encore is. Let's say Burning Fruit. No. <laughs> Who cares? That's fine. We'll just give the people what they want right now. This is the boomer rock I want. Or put deep purple on here or something like that. Anything but smoke in the water, thanks. Yeah. And anything but a uh, cowbell song. Don't fear the reaper. For this band. Star power the whole time, we're gonna get like one extra star. Yeah. I've said this a bunch already, but the uh, characters that have star power gimmicks are just objectively worse than the ones that just give you flat stars just for playing the song well. Absolutely. It's not even close. Like, Judy Nails and Giant Napalm give five stars. And if we did a star power the entire song, we would get one extra star. It's not even a competition. Maybe it's more of a multiplier if you're doing, like, a four-man uh, thing. It's pretty crazy that Blue Oyster Cult was around as early as they were. Like, I think the song was 73, which is just, like, crazy ahead of its time. Like, you look at the other songs that were popular at that time, and it's like, holy crap. It's not quite as crazy as Black Sabbath in the late 60s. Yeah. That's still the craziest of all time. One of my favorite albums of all time is The Shape of Punk to Come by Refuse. Uh, it was made in 1998, and I swear to God that that album could still come out today. 
and end end if it came out you'd be like holy crap what's this gonna lead to and the best part about refused they came out with that album and they were like yeah we're good <laughs> i mean what else what what do you do right because before a, the shape of punk come refused was like a good but pretty generic punk band and then they just come out with one of the greatest albums ever made that like completely defined a, sh- a genre. In a weird way, even though their music was way more punky, obviously, and speedy, um, you could even be like, wow, this was literally kind of the start of new metal too, uh, just like the heavier parts of it. Like I could definitely see like the lead singer of Slipknot being like, Oh yeah, I uh, I love the, sh- the, the shape of Punk and Dumb or whatever. I, I have no idea if it's guessing. I have a doubt. Back to Black Sabbath, isn't Paranoid their second album? Yeah, that, that's just insane. Well, I mean, Black Sabbath self-titled in 1969. Wasn't 1969, like, the summer of love? And then it's like, actually... Bum, bum, bum. Should I save it? I think I'll save it. I'm gonna give it a little bit in case you get any. Nice. Yeah, that looked super fun. Pretty much the whole way through. Yeah, the song got that. Uh, this one actually ends like this. I don't remember what the encore song is. Uh, let's see. Uh, gonna be uh i kind of remember it's not the worst thing <laughs> trying try to think of what band they have in a hat on here there's a lot you can't do you can't do led zeppelin you can't do beatles i'm surprised they had aerosmith although i guess they still had uh aerosmith rights yeah. all right uh About boston what? it's not it's boston. probably not boston also, this dude gets like the worst end of the deal. Such a display when he becomes of greatness a will make Austin truly unique. Let's become Batman. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> Wait, we need to have Austin Tejas and Judy Nails. So it could be Return Revenge, Return Revenge, Return Revenge. <laughs> Now, uh, become the doll again, so he loses his use head. Use this incarnation Rip. to attain even more glory. I guess his head's on his. Uh, I guess it's a hip. Yeah, it's a lantern now, jack o' lantern. That's pretty cool look. Yeah, though, I'm not gonna lie. Return revenge. Return revenge. <laughs> if anyone gets that reference, <laughs> comment below. Oh, speaking of Black oh. Sabbath. Yeah. This was on their. Third album. Also, the uh, name of the basis for Black Sabbath is Geezerd Butler. Geezerd Butler, that's the cool name. Is that his real name? As far as I know. So even when he was young, he was a geezerd. And that's me, right now. So at this point we're hitting full star power bars every single star power, so just use it, like, pretty much constantly.
this point, if we were playing as Johnny Napalm, we'd have eight stars. Yeah. Right? Easily. Especially if you can kill. Yeah, I'm gonna assume that this four star power affects four player bands way more than us. Oh, that makes sense. And it probably even affects two uh, solo different than even like two player band. Yeah. Although when I was playing solo, uh, I remember getting six stars and everything. was... Actually, I didn't know if Tom Petty was around at that point. <laughs> well, it was like, All Right Now by Freed and stuff. Freed and stuff like that. It, it's also this. difference is just literally less than one star because we probably would have got six stars to begin with on this if we side. got double fc we would have barely got <laughs> yeah six. yeah because only missed like once or twice right 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 wow <laughs> such a good song thank you tony amole i don't know the name of the drummer of black sabbath no Die. Who's the singer of Black Sabbath? What's his name? An eerie uh, addition. Austin becomes part uh, of the uh, quest. Uh, what? Uh, Do, don't they name uh, the, the legendary guitar has been found? Don't they name the characters in uh, Chrono Trigger, Slash, Ozzy, and uh, Axel? Yeah, I think so. It's been a long but time since I played Chrono Trigger. I should play Chrono Trigger. You know, 